As a programmer, you spend a lot of time developing code as you learn how to program. The majority of novice developers think that this is what they will do in the future. This is partially true, but maintaining and refactoring code are also a part of programmers' duties. Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of Jay Sparrow Start Programming. In today's video, we are going to talk about refactoring code. We will talk about what is refactoring, why do I have to do it, and how you can do it quickly and easily. Let's start with the first question. What is refactoring? Refactoring is frequently described as the practice of altering source code without altering its behavior outside. The goal is to enhance a software system's non-functional characteristics. And the best known examples for that are performance, security, maintenance, readability, and other factors. Refactoring is also known as micro-refactoring and it ranges from substantial and big architectural changes to minor adjustments to code fragments. If you want to do architectural changes, which means you want to change the performance or the security of your code, you may have to include team decisions if you work in a company or on a big project. The micro-refactoring happens more commonly in everyday programming and depends only on the developer. And here we also have to talk shortly about the term code smell. It is said that a code has a smell when it needs to be refactored. Naturally, not literally, but such code does not appear to be very inviting because it can bring problems in the future. So it can be said that the goal of refactoring is to reduce code smell as well as improve security issues, simplify maintenance tasks, increase performance and readability. Now that we know what refactoring is, let's talk about the next question. Why do I have to do code refactoring at all? There are several causes, but the main reason is to improve the code and make it short and simple. There are usually two groups of programmers. Some programmers say that the code should be as short as possible, even if dozens of comments are required to comprehend the code, because the security, maintenance and readability will improve a lot. The other group of programmers believe that code should be refactored to reduce the amount of comments needed to make it intelligible and easy to work with. Each of the group takes a different stance, but keep in mind that refactoring does not mean reduction. Generally, it means improvement. The major objective is to make code more logically organized. Especially if you are an advanced programmer or working on a large project, you cannot avoid the topic of refactoring. There will always be that one spot in the code that is not designed cleanly and which can later lead to problems such as performance, readability or security issues for example. Now we come to the answer of how to quickly and easily implement the refactoring without investing a lot of time, money and nerves in for example old code that you really don't want to touch anymore. Refactoring is known to be tedious, very time consuming and only few programmers really want to do it. However, as a professional programmer it is simply necessary because otherwise you will neglect your duty and can be counted more as a hobby programmer. At Jay Sparrow, we have made it our task to become absolute experts in this area because that was simply the topic that has always followed us in our long professional career. As a result, we developed Jay Sparrow. Jay Sparrow is your Java refactoring partner for Eclipse and Maven. Jay Sparrow not only supports all new updates of Eclipse and helps you to eliminate code smell, find errors and bugs in your code, but also helps you to completely refactor your legacy code or learn Java best practices. All of that can happen for you with just a click of a button. We already disassembled some open source projects and the result we got was incredible. We've seen Jay Sparrow find thousands of lines of obsolete code and fix thousands of bugs in these reliable open source projects. Jay Sparrow does all the tiring and tedious work for you without having to spend nerves, money and hours of valuable developer time on that topic refactoring. There is a reason why thousands of developers worldwide use Jay Sparrow and if you're also in the position as a programmer where you cannot avoid the topic of refactoring, especially Java refactoring, then I can congratulate you. The best thing about Jay Sparrow is that we offer a free trial version with 20 free refactoring rules. You can just click the link in the video description and after activating the tool, simply drag and drop it into your developer environment. 
You can follow in our documentation area how each of the mechanisms work and if you have any questions, you are more than welcome to contact us directly. In that sense, I would say that's it for the video. If it helped you, I would of course be very happy about the thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to not miss any content. With this in mind, I wish you a wonderful day and see you next time. Goodbye!